Hi everyone! The purpose of this video is to walk you through the registration process for Quarantine 3.0 Virtual Dulcimer Festival. These workshops are taking place February 5th and 6th, 2021. If you have registered for one of our events before, please take a minute to watch through this video anyways. There are some changes that we want you to be aware of. So if you're using a mobile device to register for your workshops, all of the navigation that you see here at the top of my screen is going to be located under two black lines in the top of your screen. So everything that I'm referencing will be there for you mobile device users. First thing we want you to do is check out the important disclosures on our website. You're going to be required to acknowledge that you understand these when you check out. So that's under how it works. Go down to important disclosures. There have been some changes. This is much more simple than it used to be. Um, so you want to read that and look it over. Next thing you want to do is go to the workshops page and refresh the page. Then go down and double check your workshop selection sheet with the workshop schedules. We had a handful of issues that were discovered after we published them and those changes were made relatively early but um, we want you to double check your schedule just in case you were one of the people who were affected by one of these changes that was made. So do that first then you can actually start to register. The registration is going to open at 7 p.m. Eastern 6 p.m. Central and you can get there by clicking register up here or go to register in the navigation panel and click must read. These are both going to take you to the same page. On this page, once it loads, if it loads, there we go. Um, on this page, oh, I refreshed and now it's loading again. <laughs> All right, on this page, uh, this video that I'm recording right now is going to be posted here. Also, there are just some instructions, some things that we want you to watch out for during the registration process. I'm going to also be talking about them in this tutorial. So you have access to the schedules and the descriptions and all that here as well. So as I scroll down, you'll see there's only three boxes now and you can check any of these. You've got hammer dulcimer, mountain dulcimer, and all the other instruments. We've got some new instruments, some harp workshops, bass, fiddle, even a Native American flute workshop. So I'm going to show you how these pages look now. It's a little bit different than it used to be. From here, we're going to keep throwing this item in your face. So double check, double check, double check is basically what this means. You want to make sure that you make type your email address correctly in checkout. You want to make sure that you do not have any double bookings. And you especially want to make sure that you do not have multiple quantities of the same item in your cart. Any order with um, multiple quantities of the same item in their cart is going to result in one admission into the workshop and the extra items will be added back into an, our inventory for somebody else to purchase. You will not be entitled to a refund. You can check out again the important disclosures and have a look at the FAQs, especially if you're purchasing for a spouse or something who lives in your house. All right, so when I scroll down, um, we can see that there are different levels here and this is these are the categories for all the different levels instead of having to check a box on the other page you just come here and select your category it might be tempting to come down here and just go through all of these however it's kind of complicated they're arranged in chronological order but the levels vary everything's all in one place and they're not really in any particular order you've got some ones down here some fours up here so it's really easier if you do just go ahead and go to one of these pages and select the level that you wish to to be looking at so now that I'm here, it says level one, absolute beginner. I know that all of these workshops are absolute beginner workshops, and I can go ahead and start picking my workshops. It's easiest to pick in chronological order, the order that you're going to be taking the workshop. So I'm going to start with Friday session one. And I want to show you something. If you wind up clicking add to cart, this is the same as it's always been. You want this quantity to be one. If you click add to cart, watch what happens. It says adding, added and then changes back to add to cart. It's really easy to miss that and click add to cart again. So if you do that, it's very easy to fix it in your checkout. We just want you to be aware that it's, it's relatively easy to make the mistake and we want to show you how to fix it. So once you add that to your cart, you want to go back um, to choose some other workshops. If you click Mountain Dulcimers here, what that's going to do is it's going to take you back to all of the Mountain Dulcimer workshops. 
and you can either select that same level again and go back in there or you can check a different level so I'm gonna look go to a different level I think here we are now we're on level 2 novice so I can go ahead and start picking some of these workshops if I you know you may be kind of in between level 1 and 2 and you can you can kind of figure out what you want to take you don't have to limit yourself to that workshop levels guide if you see something that's really interesting you can take it you know you might get something out of it anyways if you wanted to go back to level 2 novice without having to go back to the mountain dulcimers page and then click level 2 you can always just use your back arrow in your browser and that'll take you right back to the novice where as if I clicked that other thing it would take me somewhere else so that's how you get back to the level that you were previously at just click back in your browser I'm going to show you how to add some other items into your cart so I'm going to go back to register at the top that takes me back to this page where I can select a different instrument so hammer dulcimer is exactly like mountain dulcimer that's how it's organized let's go look at other instruments Now we see all of the instruments are all packed in here, every single one of them, but these categories at the top tell you each instrument. So you can isolate to only the instrument that you're looking for and go ahead and select one of those workshops. So I'm just going to grab this one, pop it in my cart, and then I'll show you how to check your cart before you check out. So um, another way to get to all of those pages, you can click register. You can come here, hover over register, go to must read, or you can just go directly to any of those pages, hammer dulcimers, mountain dulcimers, or all other instruments from here. Once you are ready to check out, there's a little shopping cart icon at the top of your screen. You want to click that shopping cart. If you can't find that shopping cart, for some reason, you can always go back to the original instrument page with all of the little boxes. You know, any of these pages with all these boxes is going to have all of this information the black box at the top and right here if you can't find the shopping cart at the top of your page all of these pages also have a link to it right here it's going to take you to your shopping cart this is the part that's very important you want to double check your cart before you check out and I've got some odds and ends of this in this cart because I was screwing around with testing some things so um, I'm going to remove that real quick and I've got eight items in my cart. I can already see some issues. I've got multiple of the same color, which is a big, big red flag. Um, so if you want to edit your cart, it's kind of not that easy to do it on this page. There's these little black X's on a gray background. It's hard to see. Go ahead. It seems counterintuitive, but click checkout. And this next page is where you'll be able to edit your cart very very easily it's much easier to see everything here so on this page I can see that I have Friday session one I've got three red boxes and they all say Friday none of them say Saturday which means I've got some issues here I need to remove two of these items so let's go ahead and remove it's very easy from this page you just right underneath here it says remove I'm gonna click remove and it's gone come down here click remove and it's gone. Now I only have one Friday session one workshop. I put these in my cart in a weird order. It's easier if you put them in, in the order that you're going to take the workshops because then your workshop schedule or your order confirmation has everything in order and it's easy to follow along with. Here's what we want you to really look out for. Check here and these should all say one. If something does not say one, simply click in that box. You can highlight it and press one to change that to a 1 or you can just delete that number and change it to a 1. Really really simple so even if you make that mistake early on by adding multiples of something into your cart you can always correct it right before you check out and it's not very difficult at all from this page with the light background. You just have to get here in order to do it. So once you're satisfied with the way that your cart looks you can start the checkout process. Now from here as you're checking out you can check out as a guest if you'd like to. Um, you can also click sign in if you have an account. Um, if it's giving you the page that I had where, where it wants your password, it means you might have been signed in before, it knows you have an account and it wants a password. If you can't remember your password at the last minute, you can just go ahead and click check out as guest. See, if I put this in and it 
says, I can't remember my password, you can always click check out as a guest. So even if it's the last minute and you suddenly can't figure out your password, check out as a guest. Don't waste your time resetting your password at this point. So I am actually going to go ahead and log in and hit continue. Now I'm going to have to check that I understand the important disclosures that's required in order to move on. Um, I think I'm going to add a box for if you need help in Zoom, you can check that box only if you need help. Uh, so you'll see that during checkout. The next step is to select your payment method. I have a saved credit card on file. I've deleted my old one and entered a new one um, so I can do that. And then once I do that, I click continue, just have it selected. Or if you don't have a saved payment method, you just enter a payment method. Click continue, then you want to click review and purchase this box right here. That's the next step. I'm going to show you how to do this with PayPal. We had a lot of issues with people using PayPal, and I'm going to sh make clear how to do this. Um, I auto filled all my information in, I'm selected PayPal, click pay with PayPal. I think I'm already logged in. No, I'm not. Okay. So enter your PayPal password. Click log in. And then click continue. It says processing, connecting to PayPal. You may be tempted to say, cool, I'm done. You're not. Um, <laughs> at this point, you still have to click purchase on our website. PayPal said, yeah, you've got the money. We're all good on our end. You still have to click purchase to actually solidify that order. Don't just stop now, <laughs> please. So click purchase and here's what you'll see. Completing your order and it's taken a few minutes. There we go. It'll get you to this page. Order confirmed. I have an order confirmation number. I can see what I spent and I can see where my confirmation was sent. This email address is the email address that everything's going to be sent to. And so I can double check that as well. If you get to your shopping cart and it might not have been low in stock when you were shopping, but you didn't re having it in your cart does not reserve it. Having it in your cart just means it's in your cart. Somebody else can check out with it in their cart and then it's, it's low in stock by the time you get to your cart or perhaps it's out of stock by the time you go to check out. So you are not guaranteed to get into any of the workshops. However, um, we are gonna, you will know when you get to this shopping cart if something is really low in stock. It might not tell you if it's out of stock, unfortunately. Um, so you wanna check for that. If it's low in stock, you wanna just go ahead and check out with that one item, right? Um, don't do this for everything because it's going to take so much more time for you. It's just not worth it to, to do that on every single, um, every single order, but it is worth it if you really, really, really have your heart set on a workshop. I just want to show you also one quick thing um, that probably will happen to quite a few of you. Uh, if you get to your checkout, and this is going to be a bummer, um, if you get to checkout and you go through this whole process and you think you're ready to go and nothing's, nothing's indicating anything was wrong and you click purchase and this box pops up, the workshop you want or the work, this particular item is no longer available in the quantity that you've requested. What you need to do, that means that the workshop sold out while you were shopping or while you were checking out. There's going to be a lot of people online at the same time trying to get the same workshops and it is what it is, and I'm, you know, we're sorry, <laughs> but uh, you, what you need to do if this happens, just remove that item from your cart. Obviously, now my cart's empty, but once you remove that item from your cart, check out the rest of your items, then go back and place a second order to replace the, the workshop that got sold out while you were shopping.